<laughs> we always love it when Tammy Allgood from the Tennessee Department of Agriculture is in our kitchen. She's got two great recipes to share. We are making a side dish, carrot, cilantro, slaw, and a popular sauce for summer dishes, brown butter. All right, there's the coleslaw right there, and we're, we're making brown butter. And I yeah. guess this is one of those things that folks who, a lot of the southern folks know about this, right? Correct, mm -hmm. correct. Brown butter is like easy. It's wonderful. It's um, basically, you're just taking a stick of butter, and you're browning it. Okay. That's it. That's, that's it. it. All right. That's it. So, so. <laughs> so what, how do we brown butter? Well, you, you're going to start with. Without burning it. With medium heat okay. is the key. And if you'll cut the butter up mm -hmm. so that it melts a little evenly like this, that's always the best. Okay. Okay. So basically you just don't leave it. Okay. So I'm just going to let you just stand here and kind of stir that a little bit. I can handle that. While I start on the slaw. Okay. 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 So we tend to think of slaw as cold slaw right. with cabbage mm -hmm. but slaw is anything that's shredded so ah. you can make you just don't call it coleslaw we're going to make a carrot slaw with these shredded carrots since okay. carrots are coming in right now like huge okay so just like with any slaw the thing is to, to soften it with the dressing mm -hmm. okay so we're going to start with some vegetable oil some jalapeno peppers and they can be those that are uh, minced and pickled is fine. Okay. Okay, then three-fourths of a teaspoon of coriander. So that seems like a lot, but mm -hmm. really it's not, it's not that much. Um, some sugar, salt, pepper, and then I like these canning jars, Leland, just because they're just so easy to mix to things up, up okay. in. So, so we're just going to shake that up, pour it over our shredded carrots, and just like any coleslaw, you tend to think, okay, that's not enough dressing. Yeah. It doesn't look like that much, but it'll. It, you leave it overnight and it will start to wilt, uh, okay? okay? So I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice over there. Okay, now see what's happening with you, Leland? Mm -hmm. um, as the butter melts, it's gonna start to foam. Okay. okay, so just like it's doing right there, it's going to start to foam. I like to use a nice light skillet for this so yeah. that you can really see the butter change color. Okay. If you put it in a dark skillet, you, you sometimes not going to be able to okay. see that. Right. So this is when you start watching it. So the milk solids are going to brown first. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start to see these little bits of brown stuff on the bottom of that, okay. which is fine. And just keep doing it like you're doing it. Just stir it. If you're gonna do brown butter, do a whole stick at one time because mm -hmm. you can save it okay. in your fridge. So it's it's ridiculous just to do a little bit. It's too good not to do all of it, <laughs> all right. right? Fantastic. So just keep doing that. I'm gonna shred the cilantro to add to the slaw. And then this just goes in the fridge and you're just covering this and put it in the fridge for a, a couple of hours mm -hmm. and it will wilt all of these carrots. So I'll, I've got the, the, the one that I've wilted right over there. So you're doing great. So here's what we're gonna do with that. Okay. You're like, okay, great, brown butter. Now what do yeah, I do with it? Yeah, what's up next? Okay, so well, you're gonna, do, I've got just ordinary corn mm -hmm. okay just ordinary corn when you get the butter browned this is what it's going to look like okay, okay see the difference yes. in in hue of that so when it starts to turn this amber color you immediately take it off of the the cooktop okay and pour it into a container like this one okay so mm -hmm. it's heat proof and then all we're going to do is pour this over the corn all right. And there's the milk solids on the bottom. Okay, all right, super. Okay. So, you, so you, you can strain those out or leave them and it's delicious. All right, so somebody's gonna see how delicious this is. I can't yeah. decide whether I wanna try the carrot slaw or, or the it, You corn. know what, Meryl, we'll it this. changes the corn. That is just ordinary whole kernel corn, but that brown butter adds a nutty flavor it to does. it and it just changes it. And then that's see so how the carrot slaw has wilted. So that's exactly what you want it to look like. So it's wow. it's still crunchy, <laughs> but it's got that nice little zip to it. Yum, they're and, both great. And you will find both of these delicious recipes uh, from Tammy. You can get the recipes from picktnproducts.org. As always, we love it when you're here. Thank you. Thank you.